Hello there, welcome to Distributed Tracing in Next.js. I'm Lazar Nikolov, a developer advocate at Sentry. In this seven-part series, we're going to explore distributed tracing at a conceptual level while building a flashcards app with React and Next.js. Here's a high-level overview of what we're going to cover in this course. We're going to start with the concept of distributed tracing, go through some of the benefits, and talk a bit about what kinds of applications should consider using it. Then we're going to learn how distributed tracing works under the hood and we'll get to know each part of the mechanism. In lesson three, we're going to go through the project files, explaining the features along the way and identifying where we're going to implement the distributed tracing. In lesson four and five, we're going to install Sentry into our project, configure it and implement the distributed tracing mechanism. In the last lesson, we'll do a recap of everything we've learned so far and we'll talk about the next steps. There's also a bonus episode that explains how to set up your local environment and what you're going to need for this course. This episode is optional. You can watch it if you need help setting up your laptop. While the concept of distributed tracing is tool and language agnostic, in this series, we'll dive into Sentry's distributed tracing solution with a real world Next.js application as a vehicle for exploring the benefits. In addition to following along with the videos, you can also check out the repository on GitHub. This repo is set up with a code tour to guide you through the entire project. Or you can check out the starter branch and build it yourself. Before we jump in, let's review a little about application monitoring and Sentry. Sentry is an open source application monitoring platform that lets you keep track of every issue, exception or crash and your app's performance. It's trusted and used by companies like Microsoft, GitHub, Slack, and Reddit. Sentry supports all the major front-end, back-end, and mobile frameworks like Next.js, Node.js, Django, Laravel, native Android and iOS, Flutter, React Native, and about a hundred more. You can visit sentry.io for a full list of supported languages and platforms. So, welcome again to Distributed Tracing in Next.js. My name is Lazar Nikolov, and let's get started.